Oh, it's so good. Morpheus. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, gods. So, uh, I have two choices here. One, I show you the most disgusting character in the games. <laughs> or two, uh, we end and I show the most disgusting character in the game next week. Go on. <laughs> okay, let's go then. Ten who has spoken. Um, I'm not familiar with Lawrence Fishburne, but um, we're about to meet the, uh, I think it's a CEO, if I recall, uh, remember correctly, of Watty Corp. And uh, it's... Um, it's uh, Those flowers are beautiful. Ah. Uh, nah, I think that would be preferable though. But yeah. What? Stop. Stop. Don't come any closer as you get here. Who are you? You're not <laughs> supposed to be up here. This floor's restricted. Leave. Now! Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone here. I'll leave right away. Go and don't speak a word of this to <laughs> Wait. Wait. I know you. Ugh. You're that girl. The one from Casablanca. The one who was with that awful reporter. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I work in maintenance. I'm sorry, I took the wrong elevator. I, I didn't know this was a restricted area. No. Oh, come on. No, this is my first day. I really didn't know this was a restricted area. I recognize you. Oh, Pretty so little creepy. face, those big brown eyes. <sighs> I recognize your scent and your voice. My scent? You don't know how blind you really are until you can recognize a person by his or her scent. I smelled you in that reporter's apartment. Outside, too, when you left. You followed him here. Why did you do that? No, don't give him head pants. No? Just back away How slowly. You... Oh, the cat. I knew there was something about that cat. My pets are everywhere. You can't escape them. I may be blind and deaf, but I see and hear everything. What did you do to Reza? Reza? The reporter? The one who calls himself Jericho, the pump of shit. If you seek to destroy what I've spent my life creating, you'd better come prepared. Yes, Bella, that would Your be appropriate. Friend, he was not prepared. When he hooked himself up to the Dreamer, I saw him. All of him. And I fed on him. You were in there, in his head, in his dreams. All of you. Naked, writhing, alive, sweating, mooning. I enjoyed that. It made me hard. Where is he? What have you done to the <laughs> monster? God. Uh, he's in a very dark place. His dreams are gone, I took them. But why can't I take yours? Hmm? What makes you so special? Yeah. This guy, this place needs some generous application of napalm. Tell me where I can find Reza. You're too late. He's dead. That's not... No. 
You're lying. You're lying. He's still alive, I know it. You piece of shit. Tell me where Reza is, now. No! If you come closer, I'll... I'll have you destroyed. I'll have you torn to pieces, bit by bit. I don't want to destroy you. I, I, I want to learn from you. What? Yeah, different. Yeah, friendship cannons. And you're connected to that fucking girl, the one who's destroying my web. You will stay, and I will study you. Is that so? What's gonna stop me from ripping those cables from your body right now? Will you survive that? You, you monster. Don't you dare! Oh, finally. My most treasured pets are here. I'll take good care of you, I promise. You'll stay here with me, Zoe. And together we will explore that mind of yours. Your thoughts and dreams will open up to me like a book. And I will read them all. I will find out who you are. I'll find out what you're doing to me. You're not getting me. And I'll be back for you, I promise. Do you know who I am? Do you? I created this place. I created this company. I am this company. I see everything. I know everything. I know that you're working with that horrible diseased child. Her infection spreads across my web like... like weed in a garden. My beautiful garden. She... she makes me blind again. Deaf. Lost. Trapped. In the dark. I won't let that happen again. I'm not going back into the darkness. Never. Let's do that again. Yeah. But yeah, he, he needs, uh, we need some friendship lasers here. Actually, no, we don't need friendship lasers. We need just lasers. Um, I would like an ion cannon, please. Just, you know, like the one in Command and Conquer. Just ion cannon. That's, that's something we need in this place. down to the street but it'd be a real leap of faith so you know bombarded from orbit it not necessarily nuke it from orbit but you know satellite based um, energy cannons you know Ugh. he is so creepy he is so uncomfortable it's just like Ugh. <sighs> Napalm, at the very least. <laughs> Hello? Uh, who's this? Damien? It's Zoe. Zoe, thank God. I'm so relieved to hear your voice. Are you okay? Where are you? I'm outside the walls. In an alley. Oh no. I can't see any- Um, I have some problems with the audio. Give me a second to fix the audio. That should be it, I hope. Signs. Just a moment. I'll pull you up on my... Uh... Huh? Uh, actually, I'm not receiving any signal here. You're a... You're a ghost. What? Oh. Oh, my friend Liv. She How's the audio for real? Kind of shield for my mobile. There's some weird she static here me for invisible. me. It's amazingly effective. Top grade stuff. I really need to meet this friend of yours. I think she'd like you. Yeah. Look. Oh. 
I want to get as far away from this place as possible. You can crash at my place tonight. There's not a lot of space, but uh, you'll be safe there. Thanks. That sounds there we go. perfect. I could definitely use a shower and a change of clothes. I'll try and guide you to a place where we can meet. The first thing you need to do is find the boardwalk. Yeah. It does sound as well. though the Azadi have plans with this tower, April Arm. But I cannot see what that would be. They claim to shun magic, even though this technology of theirs relies on it. Maybe the tower is such a device, a magical machine. Maybe it's a weapon. I got the sense that it was very important that they make their deadline. From what little I know of the Asadi, they have never <laughs> yeah, it's such fake. a thing. But it is possible. They have powerful thermaturgists, these Westlanders. And I suspect that their hostility to magic comes from their wish to control it. And their fear that others may know more about magic than they do. As for this place you discovered deep below us, this chamber of dreams. I'm not sure that's the right word, but I don't know how else to describe it. I could hear the voices of thousands of people around me. I'm sure it's connected to the tower. The chamber appears to be located right below it, and the man I followed from the tower led me there. This worries me, April On. Dreams are powerful things. Combined with this Azadi machine, if that is what it is, it could have serious consequences. I shall send word to my blood sister in Irhad. She has connections in the strangest of places. Maybe she knows more. I would also have liked to see this chamber with my own eyes. Perhaps then, I would understand more. I tried going back through, but the rock's solid. There's half a mile of mountain between us and the caves. Without the portal, there's no way down there. I will look at the wall in the cellar where you said the portal opened up. Perhaps I can learn how this musical magic works. I must say that I am intrigued. It reminds me a great deal of Bonda magic. They sing to the earth to dig their tunnels. The Bonda songs do not work on rock, but the magic could still be related. Keep this under wraps, Naane. Don't let anyone get wind of what you're doing, not even Benrime. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. Of course. I shall be cautious. Perhaps this is the opportunity we have been praying for. If we do not soon find a weakness in the Azadi front. And we keep fighting them with the weapons we already have. What else can we do? I am not suggesting we lay down our arms, April on. But we are fast dwindling in numbers. Not a day goes by when someone is not killed, captured, and sent west to an unknown fate, or abandons the cause. We may soon need an alternative to force. There are many, we are few, and the Azadi support among the common people grows daily. We're not dead yet, Naane, and it might be that this new information will help us. If that tower is as important as I suspect it is, we have a new target. I'll talk to some contacts, see what they know and what they've heard. Tell Bren and Chuan to get the remaining supplies on their own. They'll need to leave tomorrow evening as planned. We can't afford any delays. Will you not go with them? I haven't decided yet. Depends on what information I manage to dig up. If I get a lead, I'll have to follow it. So be it. I may wait for you, but I will leave a message with Benrime if I, too, set course for home. May the stars guide you, April on. We will see each other again soon. I really love the, the, the world building in this series of game. It's so thought out. I joined my outfit only a few months ago, but she's proven to be a valuable asset. Her magic is very powerful. May the stars guide you and light your way, April on. We have to travel light, and we have to stay packed, just in case. And then we have the, uh, with the, the mention of the Bandu, and just how they work their magic with singing to the earth, and just all these things, it's so good. I just, many people can learn a lot if they want to, like, about world building from this, these series of games. Binrime? So, child, did you find that person you were looking for last evening? What? Oh, no, I... no. What's the matter? You seem distracted. I'm okay, Benrime. All right. Well, the day is getting on. If there's anything you need, come see me. I 
actually been remade? There is something. I'm confused. About what, child? I'm not sure what to do, and I... I would appreciate your advice. I see. Well, child, I'll do the best I can, though I'm no wise woman. What's wrong? I think something's going on. Something potentially bad. Something involving the balance between the twin worlds. Ah. Oh. Does this have anything to do with that nice young woman from Stark? Zoe, was it? It may. It does. But I can't tell you all the details. I don't even understand what's going on. I'm just worried that I might be involved somehow. I see. And you would prefer not to be involved. <laughs> I've done my share for the balance, and I have more pressing concerns. People depend on me. Yes, they do. But that is no excuse. I'm not looking for excuses. I'm looking for answers. I want to... I need to know what I'm supposed to do this time. Such answers aren't always easy to come by, April. Often, we have to rely on faith alone to carry us through. Still, I understand that you want something more concrete than that, April. Very well. Here's my advice. You must speak with the Guardian of the Balance. I thought the same thing, but... It's impossible. I can't shift anymore, and even if I could, the Guardian's realm is closed to me. Maybe so, and maybe not. There is someone out there who might be able to help you. Who? An old friend of yours. The White of the Drake Kin. The White Dragon. You're right. If anyone can help me contact the Guardian, it's her. But I don't know where she is. She vanished just after she was born. You are April Ryan. I'm certain that someone in this city can help you locate her. Have faith in yourself, and in the balance. I had faith once, Benrime. Look where it got me. What's left of the person I used to be? I still see the same girl who walked through that door a decade past. I'm not her anymore. I don't even remember what she was like. Now I'm just... <laughs> well, I'll be damned. April Bloody Ryan! I can't believe it. <laughs> Who? Brian? Brian Westhouse? The very same. <laughs> God damn, I can't believe it's you. How the hell are you? I thought you were dead. What happened to you? I guess I should have been dead. When the tyrant invaded Mercuria, I was a drunken mess. It took me a few days to realize what was happening. I got out, and after it was all over, well, I was already walking, and I figured I might as well keep walking, see the world beyond the city and the bottle. But what about you? <laughs> I figured you were long gone, back in Stark, or dead. Same as you. I've been traveling. Hmm. <laughs> You've certainly changed. I guess we both have them. <laughs> Ten years is a long time. How did you manage to escape the Tyran? Blind luck. First off, stupid critters didn't find my house, and a couple of days later, a dinghy passed by and I was spotted. The captain gave me passage all the way to Coruscant. From there on out, I hitched a ride. Why do I have this feeling <laughs> you're interrogating me? Because I am. I have to be careful, and bumping into you like this... It's easy to get paranoid and to be suspicious of coincidences. I don't believe in them. I used to think that fate and destiny was a load of hogwash. But I know better now. There's a reason we met today, April Ryan. But I don't think you have anything to worry about. If I'm here for a reason, it's to help you. So what are you doing at the Journeyman? Just revisiting old haunts. And hoping to score a cup of Ben Rime's mulled wine, of course. How about yourself? Same thing. I'm in the city for only a few days. Well, even more fortuitous that we bumped into each mm. other then. So you've been traveling for the past decade? I have, and I intend to keep traveling for the next decade or two, as long as I have my health. This world is fascinating. You look so much better since the last time I met you. Younger, healthier, happier. I do feel fantastic. 
I was bitter and angry back then. Angry at myself at being stuck in this world. Now I don't see Arcadia as a prison anymore. I see it as an opportunity to grow and learn and experience. <laughs> I'd forgotten why I crossed the divide in the first place. I wanted to go where few had gone, where there were still untrodden paths. Losing my home, being forced to run, it was certainly an awakening and one I sorely needed. Speaking of coincidences, maybe you can help me with something. Absolutely. What do you need? There's something going on, something that may be affecting both worlds. <laughs> Why, Ms. Ryan, you seem to get drawn into these things every time. Can you be any more specific? It's more a feeling than anything else, so I need to confirm my suspicions, or preferably disprove them. I need to speak with the Guardian. Who better to tell you if anything's happening with the balance? So, why not just shift there? I can't. I don't... I've lost the power to shift. But it was never that easy to get to the Guardian's realm in the first place. So to find the Guardian, I need a little help from someone else. The White Dragon. Oh, yes. I'd imagine she could give you some pointers. The problem is, I don't know where to find her. She could be anywhere. Not so. I may know where to find her. I met a fellow traveler, a Dolmari from the Rose Court, actually, on a ship from Gien to Irhad not long ago. Mm -hmm. He told me he'd been to the Dark People's Library. Not many people are allowed there, and it was a great privilege. While he was there, however, he said that he was introduced to a pale, white-haired woman who introduced herself as the White of the Dry Ken. Now, I don't know if she's still there or how you'll get to the Dark People's City. But it should at least get you on the right path. It does. Thank you, Brian. This is very helpful. It was good seeing you again. Are you staying long? Another week, perhaps. Enough time to visit friends and to pick up some things that I can't get elsewhere in this world. Then it's off to sea again. I've been thinking about heading east, perhaps convincing a whale rider to take me along on a hunt. Sounds exciting. Take care, Brian. <laughs> And you, Ms. Ryan? April. Now, I have business with the innkeeper. So, how about it, Ben Rime? <laughs> Do you have a cup or four of your mulled wine to spare for an old drunkard? As I remember at Westhouse, you still owe me money on your tab from before the war. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you have the memory of a stickman. Ms. Salmon, I've honestly missed this place. Hell, you're probably right. I owed a lot of people money back then. Uh, seeing as I'm still a bit short on cash, you'll have to add this to my tab. But I'm coming into some gold tomorrow. Old debts repaid, so uh, I'll settle it then. That'll be the day the Azadi decide to just up and leave. Money first. Mold wine after. <laughs> You're a tough woman, and <laughs> I respect that. Ah, I I have to tell you about this tavern I visited in a town near Altaban. Ben Rime. She's the one thing in my Ryan Westhouse. Looking younger and healthier than he did ten years ago. Which turned out. <laughs> to be oh, fermented it? pig's blood. <laughs> he couldn't. He couldn't stand up straight for three uh, days. Brian Westhouse <laughs> is someone we met in the first South game. Anders. And so you have visited Altabon uh, we'll and Altera. I've been further south still, to the Capes and beyond. I tell you, if you think the winter here is harsh, you should yeah, count your I lucky stars. Some of there are lands seen. beyond the South Sea that are frozen through both winter and summer. The sun is as cold as the moon down there. Well, I do not intend to leave Mercuria. There's enough foreigners here. No need to travel for months to find more of them. <laughs> uh, so, Brian Westhouse is... Um, he is, was first introduced in the first game as uh, this drunkard man who lives on the edge of the city. And he is also from Stark. And he was known as the uh, the wheeling man in the city because he was riding a bicycle. 
Um, we also played as him briefly in the prologue of the game. It's just a broken. So it was him. Okay. Yes. So we are now in the ghetto, and uh, well, look. Wait. When did you get out of the, your imprisonment? Look who we have here. Potions, herbs, curiously shaped cookies, everything a wizard, witch, or warlock may require. Using only the finest organic ingredients, shelled <laughs> warden bladders, rat tails, done. Oh. He, the, the, so, everything organic ingredients. This game is so far ahead of its time in so many ways. Wait, that man. He looks very familiar. <laughs> Why am I thinking of moving stairways? Because this is Roper Clax. Good Klax. God, Roper Clax! At your service, milady. What may I do for? Wait, I know you. <laughs> Where do I know you from? April, April Ryan. Oh uh, well. How lovely to see you. <laughs> Say what? It's been too long, my dear. Too long. Uh, yeah. I guess it's been long. What have you been up to? This and that. How lovely. Me? I'm rehabilitated. <laughs> April doesn't know how to deal with this. <laughs> how can an evil wizard be re rehabilitated? Rehabilitated? How so? Being soundly walloped by you was the best thing that ever happened to me. Really? <sighs> oh, yes. It gave me perspective. Time to think. When I finally escaped that confounding device, I joined WWWA. Ah. Uh... Wicked Witches and Warlocks Anonymous. It's a marvelous <laughs> support group for wizarding professionals. <laughs> oh. Oh, it helped tremendously to find others who shared my uh, affliction. <laughs> affliction? A desire for evil deeds and world domination, your basic um, EDWD syndrome. I see. <laughs> I love Cured! It. I'm free of my desire to conquer and control, and I'm happy to be a simple merchant and published author. I guess that's a, <laughs> a good thing. It is. It is indeed. So, April Ryan, is there anything I can do to help repay what you did for me? Uh. I just love it how April is just, um, <laughs> I don't know how to deal with this. How did you get out of that calculator I trapped you in? I had to learn advanced trigonometry. After that, it was as easy as multiplying the root of pi with the volume of my mathematical prison. Oh, that sounds pretty complicated. It took me five years, but I gained some important personal skills in the process. I even had time to write a book, so it was all for the best. You said something about being an author? A published one. I wrote my memoirs a few years ago. Farewell to my wizarding days by Roper F. Clax. I love this. What's the F stand for? Nothing. It just looked better on the cover. Anyway, as it turned out, the first and only print run had a slight uh, problem. A small charm made its way onto page 108. When readers got to that page, the book, as uh, misfortune would have it, exploded. And you had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Me? Absolutely not. I've been acquitted of all charges, and every single lawsuit has been dismissed in the magical court. I I'm quite innocent. It does mean, however, that only uh, one copy of Farewell to My Wizard in Days by Roper F. Clax exists, and uh, that would be mine. <laughs> I've decharmed it, and page 108 is quite safe to read now, if you're interested. Not really, no. <laughs> uh, 
I actually do need some help. That's great! Anything to assist the woman who 